Hey there, princess. Metasolari here, and we are back yet again with more of uh, season 11 builds, runes, and all the other sort of things that you guys can catch us over on twitch.tv slash Metasolari. So, first things first, guys. Today's build is we're going to be trying an early game domination build. So, this, the point of this build is get in, beat the living crap out of anybody we can find, get out. Preferably in that order. So, we're going to go ahead and see where that drops us, and we're going to you know drop a word here while we're at it so to go ahead and do that guys we have taken a lot of just hard early runes that are more focused about getting us a good prowess claw nice and early and from there just kind of trying to dominate the map accordingly so we're gonna go ahead and ping for assistance here let's see if the shen responds if not no big deal we'll 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 make do with that information see what we can do if he doesn't give us the help we need we'll be really sad but Hopefully, come on. Is he going to? Come on. Come on. Nah, he's not coming, so. Alright, so we definitely are... Oh, wait, there he goes. He finally gets it. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and try to take it to him. And we're going to go ahead and see where... Where, uh, Ivern... Okay, so Ivern smited the, uh, first camp right off the bat. Okay. So what are we going to do? is we're gonna go ahead and see if we can go for his raptor camp or we could actually try to go we could probably try to go either way let's see it's definitely gonna bark his raptor camp but i don't have prio on that side of the map so we don't want to go aggro there we're just gonna kind of we're gonna avoid that we're just gonna stick to this side of the map and we're just gonna kind of like you know let 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 the burn be burns like there's no way we there's no way we're gonna make a uh, a good play on that side of the map right now. It's just not happening. Our bot lane is getting pushed back too, and the Ivor is getting a good early gank as well. So both ways, we're not really gonna make an advantage play here, man. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think I ever eat. Or. So we're gonna go try to make a play bot lane. Oh wow, we got our first blood. Awesome. Um, we are going to look to see if we can invade. Nice, good job, bot lane. There's very likely not camps, but the Ivern himself is probably here. There we go. And we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait till Hello Blades, and then we're gonna flash. Oh, no. come on. You're kidding me. That sucks. That really sucks. Just that last bit of healing right then. Right? Like, come on. What's the luck of that? How unlucky can you be? Literally, Senna is right there to get that last bit of healing. I didn't know if he if he, if she, he didn't have flash I think because uh, he didn't he just kind of walked away. Hmm. All right, that's fine. That's just some lucky said is dead and then right there just as we're going in for that final kill. But it's okay. We'll go ahead and make a we'll make a play elsewhere. Top lane is a really good spot to make it because top lane right there is has no summoners like once he goes in he's he's in you know all right we're gonna go ahead and take some camps from up here and then we're gonna go ahead and look for top lane So we're gonna co we're coming from this uh behind him and we have to remember he he has everything he needs to really make this a bad run down so we need to be play this real carefully wait did Shen not even try anything here like why oh man I, I gotta remember the Shen's not very observant of what's going on I, I have to remember that because that play, I pinged it miles away and he still didn't move. So I have to keep that in mind. If I make a play top lane, it needs to be a, like 
I can run him down myself kind of thing, you know? I have to watch for abilities and then go in on that. Alright, so Miz is unfortunately dead. Um, that sucks. Go ahead and try to clear this. We're going to go for an early dragon. Because right now we're, we're in a really rough spot around the map. And Toppling is... Top lane is going to do well if they froze the wave because they had a good freeze going on, but I think they broke it. Yeah, they broke it. So, that sucks. Bot lane is probably going to die there. Nah, uh, they, they, they get out. Just taunt. Just taunt, dude. Just taunt. Oh my goodness. Not a lot of pog plays right here, guys. Not a lot of pog plays, I'm not gonna lie. It's okay. We'll go ahead and grab the dragon. Again, when you're playing against Ivern, guys, you're just really gonna be one of the strongest early game... You, like, Ivern sucks at doing objectives really badly. As long as you just go ahead and force early dragons, you're gonna be just fine against Ivern. Like, Ivern just can't... He can't do anything. He can't do them. There's no way he's gonna come in on that, so... We're, we should be good. All right, we don't want to go for the next for the scuttle though, so we're just gonna go ahead and kind of use up our time just to farm everything else in our jungle. Like we have to kind of accept, like, yeah, hey, yeah, this is we're not gonna be able to do it. So at that point, you were kind of like, all right, well, let's go ahead and just farm up what we can. Because yeah, look at that, they they have full prio on this side of the map, so we might as well just b b buy ourselves some time, grab farm on the map. And try to come at this situation with a little bit stronger hand. We don't have any summoners. We don't have any, uh, we don't have, we don't, we don't have any kind of lead. So, we don't really want to, we don't want to go in on any of this, you know? There we go. We got, we got most of the farm too. That's pretty good. Alright. So, let's go ahead and grab lethality. And we're gonna go ahead and sell this. We, we like we're just gonna go for a lot of AD real quick. Hmm. Let's see. That bot lane definitely has um looking a little interesting. So we want to look see if we can make a play down there. I feel like my teammates are still gonna fight it, even though it's a three v four. If I can ch make that play into a four v four, we can turn it around. But I got it. I have to go in properly, guys. I, they need to go under that tower before I can think about trying to go in. They do that, then we can look for. Then we look for something. Mhm. Mm oh, this is a good. Oh, come on! He has boots, doesn't he? Yeah. That's the reason why I can't catch up. I'm like, wait, I can't move. Yeah, I can. I can. I have it on this. Thank you. I know. I saw. Oh, that's a, that's unfortunate. Literally just outbooted. That's a feels bad for Udyr, but it's okay. All right. So unfortunately, there, guys, we didn't get as much as we wanted from that play. But as you can see, we do have a decent level advantage over Ivern. All we gotta do is just do some farming. We almost have our boots, but that shouldn't happen again. 1400 gold is the um, is the breaking point we're looking for. So we're going to just kind of do a full clear. We're going to go for the objective, topside, Rift Herald. And then we're going to start looking to take over the game. We didn't get a lot of, we didn't get a lot of early plays, guys. And unfortunately, until we get boots, it's, you know. Let's see, if we can we fight this? Nah. If she jumps back, we can kill her, but... Look at, look at, look at the guys. Look at my mana pool. You see my mana pool right now? Abysmal. I don't have any. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead and see if we can find some, um, find a way to shut this thing down. Get this game back under control. I mean, my Tristana is doing amazingly well. 
So that is a tempo I can play off of. We have to remember though, the later the game goes, the more that Viger's gonna get strong. And then, again, you have to remember, even if someone is a strong win con, all it takes is just one misplay into their counter, which in this case is Viger. And um rest in peace, my sweet prince, you know? There we go. I mean, I don't know why Shen's here. I mean, not it's nice, but what is he doing? Oh, uh, he's look he's look, he's waiting for a play. He's just gonna kinda stand there. And remember how I just said just one kill to them. And he took it from me. Uh sometimes guys you just you gotta ignore your ally. If, if they want to force an objective, they're not gonna give it to you. I gotta stop making plays around the Shen. I do. I'm, up, I'm hurting myself more than anything. There we go. Got him. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. A lot of, like, when you, the one good thing about going, um, Tiger, Tiger Lethality is you burst people a lot harder than they expect. Oh, by the way, there's the Vigar getting fed now. Which is why, right now, guys, instead of running down there and joining him in Sweet Embrace of Death, I'm just saying, yeah, no, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, do the opposite of what you're doing right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab, uh... Grab some farm. No? Let's see. Where's Ivern going? Okay, Ivern's going elsewhere. Hmm. Not a, not a, not a, not the best play. Not the best place. Alright, so we need. We are going to be against a team that's going to be very bulky, but we're going to probably need... We're going to need uh, Edge of Night, because we're going to need to punch through people who are going to, lack of a better word, ignore us. So we're going to need Edge of Night after we get Prowlish. Next up, um, next up is Mertrex. But we're gonna go look for a kill. We, the only two people we haven't killed is Orn and Vygar. So guess who we're go gunning for right now? Well, guess it's not the uh, Katarina. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. Hmm? What's up? Forgot that. Alright, we go ahead and use at, um, Prowler's Claw to go ahead and jump in. And dot him should be, should be enough. Nope. I don't think it was, I, now that I think, look at the number, the how much she was getting dotted, I don't think it was enough. But I think she made it enough when she jumped back in and let me hit her. Definitely think she underestimated, she overestimated how much damage she's capable of doing right now. Mm, we need we need a camp. We need a camp to heal off of. If you guys are warning, Meta, what are you doing? Like, why are you running around the enemy jungle? I'm just looking for a camp to heal off of. This play is probably a little dumb, but there we go. I was like, we see we see the we see them there, so there's no reason to do much of anything. It's like. Kind of, kind of sus on that last play. I didn't have any camp to heal off of, but then he kind of made it okay by just walking up to me anyways. And wasting his abilities. Alright, there we go. Looks like Tristana's not happy. That's unfortunate. Not for her. There we go. Dot, dot, dot. Done.
There we go. Not not even a bad not even bad tempo just yet. We're picking up kills now. Now we're actually doing our best to really start uh, bouncing through. Hmm. Hmm. Versus bulk is cleaver. Ooh, what, right. I don't know why I didn't even think of cleaver. Cleaver would be an excellent option. I don't know why I didn't think of that. You're right. There we go. Not too bad. We're, we're, guys, right now, we're just farming up a lot of gold right now. I don't know why Galio is taking our farm, but honestly, we kind of took some of his, so he's probably just a little, a little salty. But, you know, honestly, we don't care. So, Tiamat, we are probably going to go with Titanic into Cleaver. I think that's going to be a great option. But, so, we're going to go Titanic into Cleaver, but we're going to get Edge of Night first. Normally, I like hitting Ravis, but this game, guys, Titanic is going to give me more AD down the line. Hmm. Looks like Tristana Rage quit. Oh, well. Just still be fine, Valder. As long as I build bulky enough to, you know, survive the front line. All right, let's go ahead and um, grab Edge of Night. As, l as long as I have the two people that are. Hmm. It'll be okay. Oh, look, she's back. There we go. Not too bad. And that's everybody. Oh, awkward moment. There we go. Triple kill, there we go. Peace and quiet, baby. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and let our teammates do that part. I kinda wanna look for jungle camps to steal from the Ivern. My teammates can uh, do my job. You know, take the objective for me while I go ahead and run around and do something else in my time. Because right now, guys, these two are these two are good for their CC, and that's pretty much it. They can uh, handle the objective for me. Well, I go and continue making myself strong enough to actually carry the game. They can, they can, they can, they can do the the tire work, you know. Oh, almost, almost failed that. That'd been embarrassing. But yeah, they they can take care of the the handy work where you know it's not fun to do. While I uh, focus on full farming, because right now, guys, what's allowing me to dominate the map? Is the fact I'm getting I'm getting so I have so much of an XP lead as you guys know a lot of my videos I always talk about how do you take advantage of that XP lead? So you know I'm showing you guys that there is potential to carry your games your mid lane can be behind NCS your top lane can be terribly behind NCS and your ADC can go from a winning lane solo to uh, beating their hard counter but as long as you take care of yourself you can you can still carry these games <laughs> I don't know. I'll be honest though, but who plays Crit Riven or Crit Jace? It sounds kind of weird. Why would you want to play Crit Riven ever? Right, let's look around. Alright, no cam. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, begin to bounce now. Again, level 14. I'm in a good spot. Good time to get a good reset off. How close is I to Titanic? I'm really close, so unfortunately we're gonna, we're gonna sit here and wait for Titanic. That's kind of dumb of me, but I didn't realize I should have done the math. While we're waiting, what do you guys think is the next right play? I want you, I want you guys in the comments below. Tell me what do you guys think is the next right play? If you're saying, if you were thinking, go uh, rotate mid lane in this area, kind of shadow my bot lane. You're right. Now that we have a huge item leap, we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, you guys may be asking, why Why did you go Titanic? Does, is it Ravnus better for this? 
And you know, it's a pretty uh, pretty fair thought, you know. Oh, we do we do not want to fight this. This is a uh, that is a se severely out out of uh, line team. So Titanic right now is giving me 56 AD, right? No Omni vamp, so what's uh, no Omni vamp? 56 AD, but I'm hell a lot tankier. And unlike Ravnus Hydra, Ravnus Hydra is great in AOE team fighting because if you have abilities that hit multiple champions, such as you know Aatrox, Aatrox for example, who you know. Ravnus Hydra procs on everything hit by his Q, applying a lot of that AoE damage. The problem is, is Ravnus does not apply well on Tiger Udyr's Tiger Dot. I don't, I don't remember if it applies to every dot, but I don't think so. And even if it did, again, you're not getting a lot of AoE to really take advantage of it. You hit, the Omni Vamp is nice, but when you're looking for, I want to kill this one person and hit him hard, Titanic is going to add, adds, let's see, how much per auto attack? 43 extra damage. So in this game where I'm against a lot of uh, a lot of bruisers, adding that extra damage to my on hit is very, very nice. Cause I can do that. I Chen. What? Okay, I, I can turn. I can turn this. I can turn this. Okay, uh, I did turn it until that last bit where I turned around and ate a uh, combo for no reason. All right, let's go ahead. What's Black Cleaver again? Cleaver, 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 Cleaver. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Our team cleaned up. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, what's the best mythic item on Udyr? All situational, guys. Like, honest to gosh, a lot of uh, the current mythics are very situational. Get a lot of value out of all of them. All right, so right now, guys, we're setting up for the next dra um, dragon fight. No, not, nothing too bad. We're going to look for this next dragon, see if we can um, run it down. And we're getting a black cleaver, as you guys know. Since I'm, since I'm again, we're, we're building a bruiser early game carry build. And then we're going to transition to where we can actually fight team fights. All we need is the ability to get close enough to somebody. No, Katarina, I will run you down. Watch this. Boop. And then we're just gonna go ahead and flank around and uh, run them down. Like they're 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 only they're running straight into me. Just like that. Then we run in him, and we're done. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. By using Halo Blade, we're able to build up an early game advantage, and by understanding the team composition we're going against, we don't go full lethality because, guys, full lethality is only good for killing two people. I, I can, guys, I promise you. Um, what's his face down there? Um, Bayar, he, he, he doesn't care. He will, he'll run me down. He will blow me up if I'm full lethality. We buy Edge of Night to still give us more damage, more lethality, but look at that. Edge of Night gives us 325 health. You guys understand, with this build, I'm at 2.8k health, good mix resistances, and I still hit like a truck. I still have all the advantages of Edge of Night. I'm sorry, all the advantages of Prowler's Claw's assassination. But, you know, I'm a bruiser. I'm a bruiser. Diving into towers, running them down, going for crazy plays like that. Still entirely possible. Probably been better if I didn't full dive and draw my teammates on there, but eh, who, who, who wants a, a free easy win, you know? Now that we have, now that we are, what, two more health items? Black Cleaver gives us only three less AD than a Ravnus. 
And again, it still gives us 51 damage on hit. So, you know, take them for what you will, man. A lethality build, would I, would I go over, over a Phoenix AP build? Early pressure. That's pretty much it. If you wanted to try to end the game quickly and you want early pressure, then that's what you want. Ooh, wow. Look, the Trish, the Trish who was complaining earlier is legendary. Nice. <laughs> so what we're gonna look for here, guys, it's time to end the game. So we're gonna go ahead and just force Baron. As much as, as much as, you know, I'm having a good old time, we have to understand one core thing, guys. Mythic items from, I mean, sorry, Orn and Viger will outscale us. No matter how big of a lead we have, Orn and Vigar, sorry, Orn and Vigar will outscale my team eventually. So we need to make sure that we are like, hey, guys, let's, uh, oh my goodness. Nobody's coming over here to help me. <sighs> Never mind. If, if someone else came over there, would have been fine. But nobody else sitting there on top of us doesn't make that play possible. It's kind of unfortunate, but... We don't really have the Omni Vamp to do it, and we don't have an on-hit item. If we had something like a Black Cleaver, and no, a Blade of the Rune King, then we probably could have done it in time, but... Eh, not fast enough, friends. I just need one person here to do it, and then I could probably uh, solo the thing. Well, not solo, but I could, I could do it in time, if you will. I don't know if I'm going to hit this thing, unfortunately. All right, baited him back and stun. There we go. Saving prowler's claws so we can find somebody a little bit more worth our time. Ooh, dang! Biker still had his combo. Unfortunate. And let's kind of look. Let's see what, what's what's good. What's good. Hmm. Wit's End is not bad. It would give us a little bit more on hit. Uh, we could follow with a tanky item or we could do damage. I don't want to do this. As you guys can see, game is dragging out longer than it is, but honestly, I like seeing how this build can develop. Because, I mean, who wants to see every game ending 15 minutes? Am I right? Yeah, we definitely want MR to combo for our health. Oop, there goes a Katamino. I did also forget to use Prowler's Call in that fight, but honestly, I was only fighting Orn. I didn't want to waste my assassination tool on, you know, the non-tank. I mean, the, the tank, you know? Just saying. Wiz versus Maul. Um, do you want more damage or you want more tankiness? Maul is more defensive. While well, everything else is not. Texan, tier one. How you doing, love? How you doing, baby? Hello. I love you. I love me, too. I love me, too, man. Love you, too, Texan. Alright, I'm just waiting to bait him in. Oh, no, they're baiting me. Oh, they are baiting me hard. Alright, we better, we get, better skedaddle. Ooh, mama. Awesome. Yeah, we can we can we can go ahead and do some damage now. All right. We're just we're just going to sit on top of him. There we go. Like look at that insane damage. All right. Bam, 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 bam. And that's game. The main part is just that final, final touch. Oh, we're really not going to end this game. We get, we, well, I don't know why we're going for Elder. I don't know why we're going for Elder at all. 
But it, the team wants to go for Elder, guys. Don't, guys, don't try to force people who don't want to. If they want to do some different play that has no sense to it, sure, why not? Sure, go ahead and do that. There we go. So now we got Wits End. We should be hopefully a little bit happier. I miss you, Wits End. Guys, uh, can I have an F in all my chats for Wits End? Like, they, 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 guys, I truly need to say F in the chat for Wits End. That item was my baby, season not 10. Thank you. Thank you all for understanding. Thank you all for understanding, because that's my child, man. I love this item. Now it's like a shell of its former self. On the bright side, you know, at least I can, you know, run down, uh... At least I can run down this, uh, Baron by myself now. Like I said, all I need is a single on hit item. Oh, look at that. It is going ahead and soloing Baron. All right, let's go ahead and grab uh, an elixir. And now we're just going to, uh, you know, what do we want? I want I want the red one because it's it's red and it, I like red. Red is pretty. Do, 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 do. Mm. I miss Adaptive Helm. Yeah, everybody, Old Witch was healing was fun. That's what made it fun for me. All right, how long do we have on Elder? Not that long. So we, if we find a fight, we gotta just take it. Force, El Force Elder. All right, we don't want to use it in a stance right now because all right, we have we have everybody's ults up, so we could we could do this. Hmm. Galio took a little bit long to get, get on that last alt part. Everybody else followed through, but Galio was not there. I was thinking, was he not in alt range? Maybe. Maybe he wasn't in alt range. But honestly, I think we still won that fight, which is hilarious. Oh well. That be what it be. When you try to, when you, like, again, while this is a, a, a bit of a bruiser build, it's still an assassin build. You gotta understand, like, I still have two items that are, for assassins, not very, I'm squishy. I'm, uh, I'm tanky, but, you know, I can't, I'm not no med -year here. I'm not taking the full team by myself. I wonder if the enemy team realizes that, oh, come on, you guys, you guys can finish that game. Thank you. And that's it. We'll see you guys on the next video. As always, chowder.